Welcome, and thank you for joining me for another episode of the Wandering Watercolor. Today, I'm going over the third page of the Everyday People Watercolor Coloring Book. It's a watercoloring book that I make by hand um, using lithographs. And uh, thank you for purchasing it from me, um, if that's why you're here. And if you haven't bought it, it'll be in the description. If you just want to paint along and don't feel like buying it, that's fine too. You can just kind of pause the image, draw it out, and then just paint along with us on your own paper. And let's get over to the painting. So this, this is the image that we are working with today. It's um, just a cute little old lady. Um, she's got a little green apron that's tied around here. And um, this is what the colored image looks like So once we finish painting it. Um, should be pretty straightforward. It'll be a little more difficult around the face here. Um, I am using this brush, which is the same brush that comes with all of the watercolor palettes that I sell. Um, this is also the same. Um, th this is the palette. So I make these myself and I sell them. They come with a little brush in 10 colors in this little tin can container. And that's the exact same palette that I'm using. Um, if you want to purchase it, it's also in the description, but if not, you can pretty much mix these colors with any palette. It's, um, it'll just be easier for those using the same one as me, um, cause you can just follow what I'm doing, but otherwise, um, you shouldn't have any problems mixing the colors using any, any, um, color palettes that you have for watercolor. Honestly, you could do this with uh, oil or ink or acrylic and anything will work. It's just that the, uh, the medium itself acts differently depending on what you're using. Um, also always make sure you have a rag and a scrap piece of paper along with a surface to mix your colors on. This is just a soap dish for what I'm using. You can get one of these pretty much in any like Walmart or Target or just any, any regular store. And, um, or you can just get them online. That's pretty much it. Okay. So. We'll go ahead and we'll start. We'll, we'll grab some of the light blue. Mix it in with some of the darker blue. Let me see how that looks. Okay, and get a little bit of the brown. Try to make it a little grayer. Get a gray, get a little of the black here. Okay, and maybe a little bluer. So first, we will be mixing the the shirt, the long sleeve shirt that the lady is wearing. And this seems like a pretty good, seems like a pretty good kind of blue-gray to mix for that. What we'll do is um, we'll get, like it'll be a, a little concentrated and we'll go ahead and we'll just lay it down right here where the shadow falls and also right here on the arm like that and right here on the side where the apron is and also for the arm back here there's a little more shadow in the arm back here since it's kind of behind I'm gonna dip the brush into water and then without rinsing it off I'm just gonna go ahead and apply more for the rest kind of spread it out and thin it out as I'm applying it It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the important thing to remember. It does not have to be perfect. Let me go like that. And like that. Dry off my brush and pick up some of the color here. Okay. 
we'll rinse off the brush and then dry it off and pick up some more of the color here the the shirt itself that the lady is wearing is much lighter in this area and also maybe a little lighter right here but that's okay um, if we want to make it a little more expressive the way I did it here is I kind of put some just quick strokes around just to add a little bit of like an environment so we can do that by grabbing a little bit of the color making sure it's more diluted because we don't want it to distract from the main object and just kind of go like hmm. pick up a little more pigment kind of go like this Make sure it's nice and heavily loaded on there. Maybe sprinkle it a little bit. Kind of like that. Over here on the side. It's This is easier if you have a different brush, like a softer um, brush. You can still do it with this brush, obviously. Um, but if you have like a larger brush or like a synthetic uh, sable or squirrel hair brush since those are specifically for um, designed to hold a lot of water it makes it easier because this one you just kind of have to dip it in continuously over and over um, but you can still get decent results okay so that's fine we have that so far. Next, we will go ahead and grab a little of the dark blue. And I'm just actually going really pigment heavy on this one. And I'm going to get some of the black. Grab that. Okay. And first, I'm going to go right here. Yeah, I'm very I'm, I'm going very bold with this darker color here and that's because this leg is a little further back into the background therefore um, it's much darker it's, it's not it's kind of the, the light is being it's coming from above so it's kind of blocking uh, the her body is blocking a lot of the light so it's okay if we just go like that and maybe rinse my brush a little bit and then apply that yeah. kind of build up some uh, gradient of the color and grab a little more lay it on top a little more right here and then go on the other leg This is the initial layer. We will build more on top of it. So we'll make the values much more uh, defined as we build up. And then go a little right here where the crease is in the pant, in the pantaloon leg. Okay. Grab some water. Spread it out. Go like that. Rub off the brush in the in the rag. Okay. Okay. There we go. And get more. Okay. So far, so good. And we've been painting for. Let's see not even 10 minutes yet so i'm doing pretty good on that next we'll grab the green as the color of the apron and we'll also grab a little bit of the brown we don't need too much a little more green okay this this is a good color right here for the apron go ahead and we'll kind of hit the dark areas first like that and right here 
button right here also. Like that. Get some of the creases. And go over here to the side. Okay. Now rinse off my brush a little bit, kind of dry it off a little, and then go in and pick up the color, kind of move it around. I'm gonna do the same, rinse it off, dry it off, pick up some more of the color. doesn't have to be perfect just kind of put it in there loosely rinse off the brush and then the the hat that she's wearing is pretty much the same color as the pants um, maybe a little lighter but you can just use this color and then just go in here Kind of do a dark line just slowly you don't have to you don't have to rush it at all and another line here for definition more pigment in the back here okay dry off or rinse off the brush dry it off and then grab a little bit of the pigment from here and just spread it out just like that. And dry off the brush, maybe pick up a little more color, put it in, go towards the back with your brush strokes, dry it off and then do the same, just pick it up and then go towards the back and then, and then that's that. The shoes that she's wearing are basically they're a little more blue green than the apron so we're just gonna grab a little bit of this color and grab a little more green actually just grab some brown blue green brown mix it up and we're just gonna do a flat wash here we're not trying to do anything fancy because that's gonna be the base of the shoes and then we'll get, we'll get back to those. Next, we just need some brown. We are going to color in the cane that she's holding. And also we're gonna grab a little bit of the black here, throw that in to kind of desaturate it. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good brown. Okay. And we're just gonna use that, just a flat wash, going all the way down, like that. It's okay if you go out of the line a little bit, it happens. And go right here, for where the handle of the cane curves. And maybe put a little more over here at the top, since it's darker due to the shadow of the hand holding it. And that is fine. Rinse off your brush. And go back here, grab more of the dark blue, put it in there. Maybe grab some of the brown also. This will help make it dark. There we go, that's a really nice dark blue. And we can we can just go ahead and start putting that <coughs> directly into the pants here. Go right back here. We'll probably have to do this like two or three times to really bring out the darkness into the clothing. Because we want to make it really, really want to make the distinguish. Uh, lines and values between the light and the dark because that's what will help 
uh, differentiate and also it makes the piece more interesting. Maybe a little more like that. I'm gonna brush it off, dry off the brush and pick up some of the color here, kind of going upwards to fade it in, going down here and same with this and that is fine right there how it looks perfect and i'm gonna grab a little bit more straight from here and go on the other side and make this dark right here and a little bit down here definitely bring out the crease there in the pant a little more a little more shadow like this and try to be loose with it don't don't worry about being too perfect or stiff i'm just kind of laying down lines like i even went out a little bit out of the corner here it's not that big of a deal if you you don't have to be a hundred percent accurate with this i'm just gonna grab some of that you run it down rinse off or dry off my brush pick some up and kind of run it in here creates a good uh, gradient from the dark to light from the transition maybe put a little here different values so it looks good so far I was about to say we can put some in here in the hat but that's still a very wet area so instead we'll go ahead and we'll uh, work on the shirt some more and we're just gonna put that brown that was right there I'm just gonna put it straight in here just mix it up i wasn't planning on it but I'm just kind of rolling with it i'm gonna grab this blue right here <coughs> Mix it in. Maybe maybe a little more of the light blue. Okay. Get a little more of the dark darker blue. There we go, that's better. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. So I'm comfortable with using this color. It's not the exact same color as the reference image, but I I can go ahead and use it. Um, first I'm gonna do the little outline here for the shadow and maybe a couple of the folds down here over here for the um, end of the sleeve where the hand is coming out of okay and then right here I'm just gonna do some outlines a little bit of for the folds and then some more right here like that over here underneath the neck from the shadow of the face and then and then put some down here for the back for the um, right arm over here there we go Maybe make it a little darker. There we go. And rinse off my brush, dry it off, and then kind of make the edge a little softer. There we go, like that. Dry it off again, pick up some of it. There we go. Maybe soften up some of these edges, like that. rinse it off dry it off and then pick up some of these edges that's kind of like the easiest way to soften up an edge uh, with watercolor but it still has to be semi dry I mean not dry semi wet when you're doing that uh, like the hat for example I noticed it became the colors too similar all, all throughout so it's still drying so I'm just gonna pick up dry the brush 
and pick up a bunch of the color so I can show that transition from light to dark. I'm gonna dry it off, or rinse it off, dry it off, and pick up some more of that color. There we go. And keep drying it off and picking up the color. I'm not worried about picking it up to the point to where it gets white just because the pigment is already on the paper so it stained the paper and it's pretty much impossible to make it go back to this white right here so I'm just gonna grab that dry it off grab it again dry it off so that that looks pretty good and didn't realize my my board got a little crooked okay so while while that's drying off while that's drying off I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of brown put it in the little green right here that we had for the shoes and I'm just gonna go like this give it a little outline and maybe give it a little bit of shadow like that and same for this side, just a little bit like that. Give it some, uh, make it a little more interesting. There we go. Rinse off the brush, dry off the brush, and then we're gonna go straight back in here into the really dark blue for the pants. Gonna add it again. And look at, look how dark it looks. But, when it dries it won't look like that not quite so I'm just gonna add it kind of like that not as much this time maybe a little bit and then dry it off and then just drag it upwards a little bit just so we can create that effect maybe some lines here to show the folds and then just move on to the next leg it doesn't have to be super detailed it does not have to be that detailed I'm going to go on the side here, just laying the color in, very boldly, not even worrying about it. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Just, just put it in there, see what happens. And then same over here, show the crease again. This time, I'm not going as deep into it, I'm just kind of showing some of the outlines. Or not the outlines, but outlining some of the folds and... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna dry the brush, pick up the corner there. Okay. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Rinse off the brush, dry it off, and then pick up some of the color here. Dry it off. Okay. Okay. Now the apron is pretty much dry. I'm gonna get some more, and actually, let me get some more brown and more green. And then I'm just gonna lay down some sharp, kind of like yeah, that's. You get a little bit of dark blue. A little bit. Kind of mix it in. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going for a hard, harsh light. Just throwing that right in there. Making the up outlines more evident of where. where the creases are in there. So maybe a little bit here, a little bit here. Maybe one right there, or two right there. Okay. There we go. There's more on this side just because of how much darker it is. So I'm, I'm putting more dark uh, shapes on that side. Okay, 
and rinse it off, dry it off, and then maybe fades, fade that in, blend in some of the edges. Okay. It's looking pretty good. And the dark color that I have right here, I, I might I might just do like a couple of strokes here just to increase that darkness. But I'm pretty happy with that so far. So I'm going to grab the brown and the dark. Dark at the corner here. And maybe add a little bit right here. And a line. A little bit of an outline. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Rinse off my brush, dry it off. Okay. I think the hat, it's still, that, that hat is still pretty, uh, wet so it'll be dry in a moment i can start working on the face um in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the green color down here and maybe add a little more to the shoes maybe a little bit outline of the sole of the shoes on the side there okay rinse it off Okay, so let me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear off a bunch of this color, so I can have space to mix the skin tones. I'm gonna honestly, I'm just gonna clear. It. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put a clean one down that's <laughs> much much smarter solution I have several of these and it's very useful to have several as you can tell I'm gonna rinse off my brush make sure I dry it off well and okay so for the for the skin I'm gonna grab some of this yellow some of the burgundy and some of the white. And that actually looks pretty spot on. Get some water, dilute it a little bit. Yeah, that's surprisingly, <laughs> looks surprisingly very quickly got the tone I needed. And so, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically, I'm gonna cover the whole face. I'm not like, it's just a flat wash and just and don't even worry if you get it like on the don't don't avoid the the goggle or the glasses don't avoid those just kind of put it all in there and that's fine and do the same for this hand okay perfect and do the same for this hand careful not to put to touch the edge too much where the pants are because it, it may not be completely dry. Rinse off the brush, dry it off, and then I'm going to pick up some of the color right here in the face, actually. 
this part down here is darker than the part up here because of the way that the face, this side of the face is facing, for lack of a better term. And dry it off, pick it up, and then same right here. Just pick up a bunch of that color. Okay. We're almost done. We are almost done. Just a couple of little things that we need to do. Mainly with the skin. Give that a moment to dry. I'm gonna add a little bit, just a small dab of brown into that. There we go. That's probably good. The reason being is we will use this to outline the... Not outline, but basically to, we're just going to use this as a shadow tone. So it's not very different from the one that we used um, for the skin, but it's different enough to where it'll make a significant difference. The reason being is the skin is very light to begin with, so different little changes like that um, become obvious. So for example, look at this skin, the skin tone right here. When we put this down, see how much, see how much more different that becomes. Let me put a little bit here because this, this finger is sticking out. So I'm just going to put the underneath there and right there also. And that's it. That is all we're going to do with that. And same right here. We're just going to a little line right there and then a little running right next to it and then down and that's it that is it let that dry next in the face in the face try to go slowly um, if you have your own brush uh, one that's more of a fine liner I recommend using that this is more difficult so if you're not oh, I'm just gonna dry that off and I'll pick it up not even gonna worry about it so that still needs to dry that still definitely needs to dry so I'm just gonna dry that off rinse it off dry it off no problem what you can do actually is um, for example grab a paper towel or or another rag as long as it's not um, doesn't have any color on it and just go ahead and kind of press it and pick it up okay that looks fine here rinse off my brush dry it off okay try that again I just pick up I don't need a lot just a little bit and just put it down right here okay that looks much better right here and underneath the nose here here I know it kind of looks like a mustache right now but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick that up we'll go here on the side of the face kind of go like that like that like that and dry off the brush pick up some of it right here some from right here some from right here and from right here and dry it off pick up some more dry it off pick up some more dry it off and then just do that, kind of like feel it out a little bit. So that's, I like that. I like how that looks. You can see the difference. You can see where the, the eyes are sunken into the face, the shadow underneath the nose and the cheek there, like the cheek right here, the shadow. So that, that all looks really good to me. Um, I'm just gonna leave that like that. 
And really, there's only... Really only one thing left, which is to color in the glasses. And... But I don't want to do that because the, this is all in the face is still drying. So I'm just going to grab my other plate here. And I'm just going to add a little more contrast. I'm going to grab this green. Maybe a little brown here. A little more green. I'm just going to go right in. Just, just to add more contrast. Just, it just looks better. A little more contrast. It's, it's, it's easier to read. More definition. Like some of the creases here. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just very so slightly. I'm not gonna overdo it or anything. Just here and there. It helps give the definition. Just looks much better. Like that. That's better. You know what? I might do a little bit in the shoes as well. Okay. I rinse off my brush and dry it off. And just give it a moment. Um, the face is still a little... The, the color in the face is still a little... Wet. But it came out looking so well that I just don't want to risk ruining it. So while that's drying, I'm actually just going to add a little bit more of a shadow where the feet and the cane are. So, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of black. Like that's probably a perfect amount. And it's a little bit of water in there. Let me test. That's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit here for the cane. I'm gonna connect it right here to the to the foot. Put like a little like if it's if the light is coming straight down, like kind of imagine this is the hand and this is you know, kind of like it's holding. Just kind of go around like that. And then right here, just a shadow connecting underneath. And here a little bit for where the this hand is kind of sticking out like that. Okay. Not bad. Let's see. Okay, so that's dry. I'm gonna dry off my brush and then just pick up some of the pigment. I'm, I'm, I want it to be mostly dry when I pick it up. So the reason being is um, it's much easier to control and not worry about it going out of whack whenever it's very dry like that. So basically just going right in, outlining the glasses ever so slowly. Um, I can't get my face close to it, but because of the the camera that's in the way. But you can definitely just get in as close as you want.
Okay. We rinse that off. I know that these black glasses look kind of intense right now, but again, they will also fade a little more as they dry. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I kind of gave it a, a more blue colored shirt and the green's a little off. Uh, again, with watercolor, you're almost never going to get it exactly um, the same, but it's close enough and it still looks good. So that's pretty much it for that one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was the third page of the Everyday People watercoloring book, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, leave a comment, reach out to me, all the social media and email and website, it's all in the description. And uh, I will be posting another one probably later on today or tomorrow. I'm going to try to get another one in today. And other than that, I will see you next time.